We have uh, Lawrence Epstein with me, the COO of the UFC. Lawrence, welcome to Abu Dhabi. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's always good to have the UFC back. Uh, what took the UFC so long? I mean, why is it the right time to come back today to Abu Dhabi? You're right. We should have been back earlier, but uh, I'm proud to say we're, we're back this weekend and uh, couldn't be more excited to sort of kick off this five-year deal. We're going to be here every year for the next five years, so exciting times for, for all of us. And uh, what is the long-term strategy for the UFC in cultivating the mixed martial arts you know, market in the region? Because you'll, you'll host one event, I assume, per year, right? Correct. So in between... What happens? So our strategy is really, you know, twofold. Number one, as you mentioned, we're going to be doing these events on an annual basis, major events here in Abu Dhabi. But second, we're also going to be distributing content throughout the region. So uh, in between those annual events, you're going to have 41 additional UFC events broadcast throughout the, the Middle East. And uh, the event sold out really yes. fast, as you know, and uh, a lot of people are still looking for tickets. Is there a plan to maybe uh, for the next uh, year or two move to a bigger arena? Was yeah, that so something expected? It's always a possibility. I mean, we're excited also. There's going to be a new arena here in Abu Dhabi uh, probably the next time uh, we, uh, we do an event here. So yes, arena, you're right. Maybe a little bit bigger. But, yeah, we're always looking to, uh, to, to expand and do bigger events. We're actually doing a big event in October in Australia. We're uh, going to have over 50,000 people. So, hey, I mean, we're absolutely open to do something even bigger here in Abu Dhabi. And... Uh, What's the difference between the relationship today and the uh, re relationship with Abu Dhabi before? I mean, uh, are you going to start focusing on, you know, regional fighters uh, going forward? You know, we've had such a great relationship really over the last decade with, with Abu Dhabi. We've done, this will be our third of event here, but we've also had a long-standing content distribution relationship and, of course, a partnership also at the UFC level. Um, you know, yes, we are focused on building, you know, local talent. There, there's no doubt about that. And I think you're going to see as this five years and even into the future rolls on, much more investment in developing local talent because, you know, that's, that's going to be significant to, to growing both mixed martial arts and the UFC brand in, in the Middle East. And, uh, uh, I mean, I guess what happened in China is an example of why you guys want to, you know, create local heroes uh, uh, going forward. And obviously... Uh Australia as well. What's yeah, happening well, in Australia? China, first of all, you know, we've got our first Chinese champion, which has obviously been, you know, really good for the UFC in China. And, it, you know, it's also sort of signifies the investment that we've made in that market. We've opened a, a large performance institute there, about 85,000 square feet. And we're really working on developing, you know, the next, you know, band or the next group of Chinese athletes. I think we'll, you'll see us do the same thing here in Abu Dhabi and throughout the Middle East. You know, developing local talent is really important to our strategy. What's the criteria for... Uh, having a performance institute in a city around the world. Like, what does Abu Dhabi need to do to have a performance institute for the whole Middle East, for instance? Is there a criteria you guys go through? You know, it's really just a bandwidth issue for us. I mean, we, we experimented with this strategy uh, in, in Las Vegas. In fact, we, uh, we got a lot of guidance from uh, Man City. Uh, we had the opportunity to go out and look at the facilities that they built in Manchester, which are just unbelievable. And so we learned a lot from Man City. We sort of uh, took the best things we saw there and other places, you know, customized it for our athletes, and then built this facility in Las Vegas. We incubated it for about two years, you know, made changes just tweaked it both from a physical standpoint the programming and of course the team and and then we built the, the second facility in China so you know we're, we're getting that one up and running we've only been added a couple of months there but you know it's really just been a bandwidth issue for us and, and I think our vision is to open these all over the world because you know the development of talent throughout the world is, is important to our goals for our company. And the scouting of talent in the UFC, is it limited to the matchmakers or is there like a scouting program that you guys go through? Because, you know, there are hundreds of promotions all over the world. It's hard to keep up. How, how do you guys keep up with what goes on? In the rest well, first of all, that whole matchmaking, that whole scouting uh, program is led by our president, Dana White. So that's, I mean, Dana is very much involved in finding uh, the new talent for the UFC. Dana has a team of matchmakers that, that work with him. But then there's a network really throughout the world where, you know, talking to managers, talking to uh, smaller promoters. Uh, and, of course, what's great is that with the Internet, you can take a look and, and watch fights live. You can, of course, watch video and evaluate talent. And, you know, Dana's uh, also, uh, put together a new show, which is called Dana White's Contender Series, which is in its third season, which has been an incredible opportunity uh, to develop new talent and feature new talent. And I think, I think Dana said this, but we're absolutely looking at doing that focused on, on the Middle East, Dana White's Contender Series. Now, uh, this might be an unpopular question, but uh, when it comes to, uh, I mean, from a business standpoint, anything can happen in mixed martial arts, in any fight, right? In the UFC, we've seen that before. 
if Habib loses tomorrow, is that from a business standpoint uh, a bad thing for the UFC in the region? You know, it really isn't. I mean, you know, the nature of the sport is such that athletes lose all the time. Now, Khabib's never lost, so uh, he's he's a bit of the exception so far. But we've got a long sort of history of athletes, you know, losing and coming back. And there's nothing wrong with losing uh, in our sport. I mean, unlike other sports like boxing, where it's sort of like I've got to build up this artificial record. I think everybody who's a fan of the UFC understands that this is a tough sport, that on any certain day you can lose. But that doesn't mean your career is, has come to an end. So, listen, we wish both is the best of luck, but whoever wins and whoever loses, that that doesn't mean, you know, sort of, you know, the careers are set on different paths. And, and it seems like there are, uh, there's a difference in strategy when it comes to the UFC, uh, based on what I see on the card. There are some Arab fighters uh, on the card, some a lot of Russians on the card because of the accessibility of uh, the UAE, you know, uh, to Europe. Uh, are you, is it also going to be a hub for, for other continents because of the, the, you know, the UAE being, uh, you know, like a access point for a lot of uh, places in the region, Africa and Europe. Absolutely. I mean, this this region, and of course, Abu Dhabi sits at sort of a crossroads of so many different geographies, cultures, et cetera. And you're absolutely right that uh, this card is one that's very uh, diverse from a geographic standpoint. We've got athletes from all over the world. And listen, this is a great place to come. It's it's actually pretty easy to get here because there's so many great flights to the area. So I think uh, as you as we look at the, the Abu Dhabi cards in years to come, you're going to see fighters from all over the world because, frankly, it's of its location, but also because of the infrastructure that's that's here, which is really second to none. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the city? And if so, what do you think? You know, this is my fourth or fifth trip here, so I, it's incredible. I'm from Las Vegas, <laughs> and so people, when they come visit me, they say, I can't believe how much Las Vegas has changed. Uh, Abu Dhabi is like Las Vegas on steroids. I, mean, <laughs> I haven't been here for like three years, and it feels like everything's changed. I went to the Louvre Abu Dhabi today, which I was just blown away by. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. The museum was amazing. And then you walk out into that area, which is covered by uh, that just incredible, you know, uh, structure on top. And it was just like, wow. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I wish I had more time to explore what's going on here. But we got to go to the Louvre. We got to go to some great restaurants. So uh, it's been a, been a great trip. And I'm excited for the fights tomorrow night. If we only had the dryness of Vegas uh, to get away from that humidity, then things will be fine here. You know, we're, we're about the same temperature in Vegas, but like 4% humidity, so it's a little bit different. Uh, any messages you would like to, you know, give to the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to focus on the fans of the UFC in the region because they're, they've been hungry for a long time, five years in the making. Uh, what message do you have to tell them? Before we well, around? first of all, we're, we're very excited to be back, and we're very thankful for the response that we've got to this event. I mean, selling out in literally a matter of hours, I think, you know, was really humbling for us and, and, and of course, very exciting. And we are very, very ready to deliver for the next five years, not just, you know, great events here in Abu Dhabi, but our content, you know, throughout the region. And, you know, I said we're doing 42 two events per year, 41 additional to, of course, the one event we're going to do here. And uh, we're, we're excited to make that content available to our fans anytime they want to watch uh, UFC. Uh, Lawrence Epstein, the CEO of the UFC, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.